All right, welcome to Rockstar Rally. It's Tuesday night. I'm Jennifer Anderson, Superstar Director of Radiant Rockstars. And I love you guys. And I'm so grateful to do this with you. Um, first of all, in case you didn't miss my short coffee and talkie this morning, it's time to freaking celebrate because Radiant Rockstars sold $104,000 yesterday. <laughs> like, yesterday like I feel like I'm on a game show or I feel like I'm like getting punked like <laughs> I feel like something is going wrong maybe I don't even know if you young folks know what punked even is like <laughs> from that it's not even a show that's on anymore I don't think who knows um <laughs> Ryan said yes we do okay good um and anyway I don't even know what's happening but it's like the most incredible exciting thing in the world um we have added let's see we have added almost 400 people to radiant rock stars in, tw in 12 days um we have already beat may 2019's numbers and it's the 12th like we beat the entire month you know so like just insane growth here's what i want to tell you too i was speaking with a couple of friends in sensi about all of this and have you ever heard of someone being in a direct sales company and you hear about like that time when, you know, everything exploded and they were there, it was like the right time and the right place and their business just kind of grew. And like, here's what I need you to know. This is one of those moments for Sensi. Okay. This is one of those defining moments for us as a company that we're going to look back at and say, Hey, remember 2020, let's do that again this, I want you to know, this is what we're experiencing right now. This is what we're going through. We're going through massive growth, unprecedented, unbelievable. No one could forecast this kind of stuff. Um, and it's amazing to like be a part of it. So I hope you feel the energy. I hope you feel excited. I hope you feel freaking pumped because you're in the right place. Like I always say, you're with the right company. There are so many reasons like Sensi's the right company, but especially right now, Sensi's the right company and also it's hot, okay? We're in like, you, you know when you see like the hottest new thing, whatever, and they see like really good growth for a little bit and then you never hear from them again? Well, Sensi's in this like hot period of growth right now, except for we're 15 years old, right? Except for we're not new and you're not never gonna hear us from us again. Like we're gonna be around forever and we're experiencing this, hot new growth time being 15 years old. So it's freaking amazing. Um, you guys are incredible. And also I got to give you mad props because like, I'm so proud of the way that you guys have just like handled this insanity. And I'm so proud at the way that you guys are handling, like, look, things are on back order. You know what I mean? Things are shipping slower. Like things are not normal right now. And like, I just love your spirit. I haven't heard any complaining. I haven't heard any whining. Like, cause that's not what we do. That's not what we do. We're freaking radiant rock stars and we don't, we don't roll like that. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm so proud of you. And like, it just like makes my like mama bear heart, like so happy, but also I'm excited for you because I know what happens in your business when you don't make excuses and you don't whine and you don't complain and you don't be like, this is the reason I can't be successful. Right. Instead you say, this is the reason I'm going to be successful. And so I'm excited, excited to see what happens in all of your individual businesses. Um, the other thing I want to say is that in case you didn't know, I have started this year, I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, um, but it's something called Rockstar Retreats and they're for directors and above. So this is just another reason to get to director, okay? I'm hosting Rockstar Retreats at my house and they're open to all directors in the Radiant Rockstar family. Um, we already have two weekends completely full. So I'm considering opening up a third weekend um, for this year and rockstar retreats will be two and a half three days at my house of me spoiling you cooking for you because you know i like to do that shaking up a few cocktails here and there there'll be some heart to heart time some laughter some learning some crying some introspection some training some hearing things from other people some bonding it's going to be amazing so it's just a whole nother reason for you to promote to director to come hang out at my house hello <laughs> So um, come hang out with me. That's what Rockstar Retreats are all about. So it's going to be amazing. And um, I hope that you all aim for that. I know several of you on this call have 
like have already actually booked your spots and I can't wait to see you guys in September for that. So it's going to be so freaking awesome. Um, so tonight we are diving in. We're going to continue the conversation on recruiting because you guys, that's what's happening right now, right? How many of you have any recruit this month? Hands up all over the place. So good. Okay. So it's $20 join special this month. Um, I'm insanely, I see people who have one recruit, two recruit, three recruits. There's some people who have four, five, six, seven recruits. <laughs> like that's what, that's what we're seeing in our group. And it's just amazing. Um, so I want to talk about recruiting. I want to continue that conversation. Um, Kira has four, Nikki has one, Bridget has one. Awesome. I'm so freaking proud of you guys. Here's, here's what I love about join special months. Hi. Hi, little baby. <laughs> See a baby on the screen? Maybe you're not a baby. You're kind of big, but you're super cute. Um, here's what I love about join special months. So we have a $20 join special right now, right? I have people who are joining right now who actually joined with a $99 kit. Has anyone had that happen? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what happens during a join special month. A join special month gives you the opportunity to start a conversation with people who would normally not have a conversation with you about joining. Okay. It's also like if you've had people on your lead list or people on your dream team list or people that you've been talking to about joining Sensi and they've been hesitant or they don't want to, you will see the $20 option is literally a conversation starter. It makes people more open and interested to what you have to say. And more than likely, a lot of them are actually choosing the $99 kit because they go into sign up and they're like, well, I get a heck of a lot more for 99 bucks. And so they choose a 99 kit, right? Not that it benefits you in any way, right? It doesn't matter if they choose the 20 or the 99, it's the same. But what it's, what it's showing you is that people are willing to join. And they're willing to join for $99, right? It's no different than any other month, which is so funny. But for some reason, during a joint special month, we feel the extra ability to have conversations with people or open a door about recruiting. Um, so $20 join special, anytime we have something like this, it, it has to be like a daily occurrence that you're sharing the join opportunity every single day. Like you can't miss a day. You can't miss a day. I mean, social media, stories, email, snail mail, text message, DM, every single way that you have to connect with someone, you can't miss a day because we have how many days in this month? I, I literally have to do the rhyme every time. I don't know if it's even a rhyme, but whatever it is, like, um, and now I just forgot about it. 30 days, past September, April, June, and November. So 31, we have 31 days this month. They have 31, 31 is my birthday. There you Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, Thank 31 days this month. That's 31 opportunities for you to connect, to expose the join special, to introduce someone to your sensi life. Okay. And when I say introduce someone to your sensi life, that's really what I mean because people join you and they join your life. Yes, they're signing up with Sensi, but when off, often when people come into Sensi, they come in through you because they like what they see. Okay? Newsflash, no one is going to join your team if they don't like what they see in you. It's pretty simple. If they don't like what they see in you, they're not going to join your team because they're not going to be interested in doing that, being associated with that. They're not going to want your job. Okay? So recruiting actually begins much earlier than you think. Recruiting actually begins with excellent customer service. This is where the recruiting relationship begins with excellent customer service. So I'm talking about recruiting, but what I'm really talking about tonight is excellent customer service, mainly follow up. Okay. You've heard me say the fortune is in the follow-up. It couldn't be more true. I had over 2,000 PRV last month from follow-up alone, zero parties, zero events. Zero, it was straight follow-up, okay? And the world was weird, right? <laughs> straight follow-up, over 2,000 PRV just from that. So there's a reason that Sensi has this natural progression of buy, host, join, right? There's a reason there's a very natural progression with that. Now, listen. You're going to hear a lot of people say, oh no, offer the opportunity first, 
start, it should go backwards. You have for the information you first, and then you default to hosting and default to buying the products. But guys, if you don't know someone and you don't have a relationship with someone, if you say something like, hey, you want to start your own business or hey, you'd be really good at this or hey, do you want to join my team? You have zero validity with that person. You have zero rapport with that person. You have zero legs to stand on when you're talking about recruiting, when you're talking about joining your team with that person because you don't know them and they don't know you. So recruiting actually starts with customer service. It actually starts at the buying point. Okay, there are going to be very, 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 very few consultants who ever join Sensi who have never bought Sensi. I actually am one of those people, okay, believe it or not. <laughs> I actually never bought Sensi. I won Sensi at a, a, like a, a charity auction kind of thing. I won a basket of Sensi and that's how I was introduced to it. And I never bought a dang thing and I just joined. But there are going to be very, very people that you recruit that haven't purchased Sensi at some point. So it's a very natural progression, buy, host, join. There's a reason for that because when someone goes through that buy, host, join progression, you are building confidence in them. You're building confidence in you as a consultant and as a potential sponsor. You're building confidence in our company, okay? So it really starts at the buying level with excellent customer service. Now, here's what you do for excellent customer service. You anticipate their needs. You anticipate their needs. So you anticipate when, when they're running out of things, um, when their favorite thing is being discontinued. And the only way that you can do that is by knowing them and have a relationship, having a relationship with them, knowing what their favorite fragrances are, knowing what they love. And how do you do that? Through follow-up. Follow-up. It really, really all boils down to follow-up at the end of the day. Okay? Follow-up is where your recruiting relationship begins. Follow-up is where the majority of your PRV comes from, okay? So buy, host, and join. Recruiting begins with excellent customer service. Customer follow-up. If you're not following up, I can't even talk about recruiting with you because that's where you need to begin, okay? We can really only recruit effectively those that we have relationship with and those that we know. Some people might join your team because they found you on social media or some people might just join your team like, on accident or out of nowhere that may happen to you. But if you're out there actively trying to recruit, you're gonna have much better ROI, return on your investment by building relationships with people, okay? So your customer service, that's what starts your relationship with someone. That's where it begins, right there, a spark. Okay, that's a catalyst. So what, what this means is every single connection you have with a customer is important. There's never a time that you connect with a customer that that's not important, okay? Because they remember every contact they have with you. They remember how you made them feel, what you said to them, if you gave them samples, if you anticipated their needs, if you told them about specials coming up, if you warned them that their favorite product was on back order, if you set the right expectation and letting them know that, hey, our shipping is taking more like three to four weeks right now but I'm gonna give you some samples or but I'm gonna check in with you and take great care of you, right? They remember everything you say. So always do what you say. Always, always, always do what you say. And if you're afraid that you won't do what you say, then just don't say it, okay? Because there's nothing worse than promising you'll do something to a customer and then you don't do it. It's better that you just don't say it at all. But if you say, hey, I'm, hey, I'm going to check in with you in a few days and see how you like it, you better check in. You better follow up because they're going to remember that you said that and they're going to wonder, where's that text message or am I using this right? And they're probably afraid to reach out. They're probably scared or like maybe they met you at an event or met you through a friend or like ordered on your website and they don't really know how to get in touch with you that's very uncomfortable for someone to reach out and say like, I don't like this or this isn't working or am I using this right? You must connect with your customers. Okay. That's where it begins. Um, so customer follow-up. Um, I actually have, let me do a little screen share for you. I have some tools I'm going to give you. Yay. These were tools that were shared with me um, by 
an amazing superstar director, Chloe Cox. Um, I've edited them a little bit just to be more appropriate to me, but you can edit them that, that work for you. I'm going to put them all in a Google Drive so they'll be all available for you after this video is over in Radiant Rockstars. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find the Google Drive link in the um, description of the video. Um, so I'm going to give you a couple of things. If you are a digital person, please feel free to use the app Amy. AMI is the app. Okay. Um, my phone is currently charging. Here it is. Here's the Amy app. I'll show you. It looks like a pineapple. It's this app right here. See how many notifications I have for Amy? What does that tell you? I'm not a digital person. <laughs> Here's Amy, it's this pineapple app right here, AMI. Search for that app, the app is free. Um, you can get the paid version, I think it's $7.99 a month and it actually syncs with your workstation. Highly recommend. If you're a digital person, go ahead and get the paid version. Um, it is a business write-off, which is really fabulous, um, but it syncs with your workstation. It has all of the customers who've ordered on your workstation, they go in your Amy app and your Amy app sends you a notification that says, hey, you gotta check in with this person, hey, send them a thank you card. Hey, it's been two weeks. Hey, it's been two months. Like your Amy app literally just tells you what to do. Okay. So if you like that and you don't want to keep track of it, please girl, please dude, roll on with it. Okay. Get you Amy, roll on with it. Lots of, lots of love for Amy in the chat box. People love, love, love Amy. I am um, not a digital person and I have tried and tried and tried, but here's another really, please listen to this gold nugget of advice. You got to do what works for you, man. Okay. You will spin your wheels and spin your wheels trying to be like other people and trying to do what other people do and trying to recreate the success that other people have in this business. You will always fall short because it will never be authentically you. Please do you find what works for you, find what you love, find what you're passionate about and roll on with it in full confidence. Okay. Get to the point where you either admit, I don't like pen and paper, or I don't like digital, or this is really hard for me. So we find what works for you. Okay. I'm not telling you there's only one way to do this. There's not only one way to success in this business. There's so many different paths. So find what works for you and roll with it, okay? I'm gonna do a little screen share. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, share screen, desktop. Oh, screenshot, perfect. Can you guys see this okay? Can I get a thumbs up if you can see it? Perfect, okay. So here's a couple things. This is a sample log, okay? Here's what I recommend. If you look on the left side of the screen, you can see that there are all the different months. What I recommend is that each month of the year that you actually say, okay, this is all I'm going to sample out for wax and room sprays this month. This is what I'm gonna send out for felt. This is what I'm gonna send out for counterclean. So you have one type of sample that you do every single month okay and if you want to go all of them go for it you can maybe just do dish soap and scentsy fresh and felt okay you pick what you want but you pick the fragrance you pick the type and you you pick what you want to do for that month this is going to help you with customer mail outs thank you mail things like that part of excellent customer service you should be sending thank you mail yes and the mail to all of your orders pws party orders, referrals, hosts, VIPs, whatever. Every single order should get something in the mail from you. Okay, here's why. And you might be like, I don't like the mail. The mail is hard for me or whatever. Guys, people don't send things in the mail anymore. And so when you do that, that sets you apart. And that is hecka memorable. Okay. When your customer gets something from you in the mail, even if it's just a handwritten card that says, thank you so much. I appreciate your support of my small business XO J A with a felt sample in it. Are they getting that from target? Are they getting that from Walmart? Are they getting it from even other direct sellers that they shop from? No, they are not. That is where your customer relationship starts. That's where your recruiting relationship starts. That's making them feel value, that's building rapport, that's building trust in you, okay? They should get something in the mail from you. So when you, in, in my opinion, each month you should do what's called a bulk sample. You should take a day, right? Or a part of a day or whatever, and you just make all the samples that you need for that one month. That way you're not making samples all the time because it's quite tedious. Also, if you're busy, okay? And I know we all are, 
just buy the samples already made from Scentsy. You can buy pet products already made from Scentsy. You can buy all of the laundry, liquid, scent soft whiffs. You can buy all the body products already done. Just buy those and those are the only things you have to sample out. And you know what? If you wanna sample out the scents of the month, you can just do the scratch and sniff stickers. You don't even have to worry about anything else. Just do that. Over here, we see join packs, party packs, new teeny packs. These are basically making sure that you have them made. Printable, so let's say in May, this month here, I wanna send out some sort of incentive to my customers to, to buy, right? So I'm gonna send them $5 wax cash. So I'm gonna write $5 wax cash right here in the printables. Or I'm gonna write um, you know, $20 join flyer here. So I know what I'm mailing out to my customers. I know what they're getting in the mail. And that way I also look back in June and say, what did I send last month? What did I send in April? So I don't kind of repeat the same things over and over and over again, okay? So that's a sample log. I'm gonna have this for you in a Google Drive, okay? Um, now, with your, sorry, I've got a, someone I'm getting feedback from somebody. Gotta find it, I think I found it. Okay, um, here's the next thing I'm gonna share with you. I'm gonna share with you a dream team list, okay? So because your recruiting relationship starts at the buying level, at the customer service level, at the follow-up level, um, you're, you have to be really intentional in your relationship with them from the very beginning. What do I mean by being intentional? I mean that you need to drop hints about them joining, or you need to drop hints about how great your life is because of Sensi, right? You need to drop hints at how Sensi enhanced your life this month with a certain paycheck, or how the camaraderie that you have with our group has made your life better, or how you found a friend in Sensi, or how it gives you an outlet from your stressful job, right? You need to be dropping hints about the business. And when I say drop hint, I don't mean like, oh, you should join my team for $99. That's not a hint. <laughs> that's direct, that's awkward, that's weird, especially if you don't have a relationship with someone. If you have an existing relationship with them and you've been nurturing it and dropping hints over time, you can kind of throw that in sometimes because sometimes you do have to be direct. But I'm telling you, relationship building is really where you've got to begin. It's got to be the foundation. So you can start dropping hints. Guys, do that on your social media every single day. Use your stories. Use your stories. On Instagram and Facebook, you should be using your stories to share your life. When my husband used to work in corporate America, when he'd leave every day, I used to tell him before he walked out the door, make them want your job. Make them want your job. Guess what? That's what we do in Sensi too, okay? Recruiting is making people want your job. And that's how you can recruit in an non-invasive, non-icky, non-join my team for $99 way. Make people want your job. How do you make people want your job? You show them how much freaking fun you're having. Second, um, you guys, we sell things that smell good. That's, um, that's like so fun. <laughs> There's nothing funner than that, okay? Keep it fun, keep it lighthearted. Um, the other thing is you, you work your business and you be successful. When, you, when you're successful and when your life has changed or when you're paying for a date night or filling your gas tank with your Sensi paycheck, people want, people want in on that, okay? Be successful, make them want your job. Earn a trip, get promoted. Spoil yourself with something that you wouldn't normally get with your Sensi paycheck. Make a mortgage payment. Do, some, do these things that make people want your job. Show them how much fun you have with Sensi. Post your stories about Rockstar Rally on Tuesday and talk about how much, like, how much you look forward to this and how much you love this and how much, how much of a great time we have together. Make them want your job. And as a leadership tip, this is the same thing we do in leadership. Make them want your job, okay? What this means is you can't make it ever look difficult or too hard or so specific to you that they couldn't do it. Okay, I'm all about being authentic. Don't forget, like that is the key. But it has to be attractive to all types of people. Your brand, what you have to offer can't be so specific that you like rule out entire people groups. You know what I'm saying? You have to be broad enough to where you appeal to so many different types of people. Um, 
So let's look at a dream team list. I'm going to give you this as well. Uh, dream team list. Okay, can you see that there? Thumbs up. Yeah, okay, good. This is your dream team list. So your dream team list is not just people that you wanna have on your team. Your dream team list, because the recruiting relationship starts at customer service with the buying, this really is kind of everyone that you're currently engaging with in your business, okay? So here you put your customer name, you're gonna put your categorization, which is step one. Are they new? Are they a VIP? Are they a host? Okay, you can um, check off your communication methods with them. Maybe it's both Instagram and text. Maybe it's call, maybe it's Facebook and Instagram. It's whatever, <clears throat> whatever works for that person. Um, the date you contacted them and or the join info was sent. Now, let me, let me add this uh, share for you here. Here's what we're gonna have. You cannot see this new thing I popped up, right? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna share again. Let me share my desktop. Okay, can you guys see that okay? You see two different things here? Okay, on the right, your communication, build a relationship, establish rapport. This is step one. So we're climbing to a recruit. This is a beautiful picture um, given again by Chloe Cox, which I will have this for you. Climbing to a recruit. Number two, you're talking to them about the opportunity. You're sharing the story with them, okay? Again, like we just talked about, you're sharing your life, you're dropping the hints over and over and over again. So this is step number two. They go in your dream team list here, where you shared your story. So you're gonna offer free and half off. And that is actually this one here. Oh goodness, there we go. You're gonna offer the free and half off. So this is for a host. Um, so if they host a party, okay, they can get free and half price stuff. Now in your hostess coaching, step three, hostess coaching is where you're actually going to talk to your person about joining. You're going to talk to your person about, Hey, you can join for 59 bucks right now. Okay. Step four, being intentional, dropping hints. And this is really just for you that you can either use a check mark. You can make little notes here. Um, party style, sealing the deal. This is your step five. And then if no, you're gonna put why here so you can come back and revisit this person later, okay? Now look, here's, here's what I need you to know. The step one, sometimes this can be your longest step. You can live here for a really long time with someone and that's okay. I want you to know that, all right? It is okay if you have to live here for a little bit. This is not a one week, I met someone new on Instagram and I met them on Monday and then by Saturday I'm here. That's not what this is. This is a sometimes we live here for quite a while while we build a relationship. We build a relationship by commenting on their social media, um, reaching out to them personally, sending them samples through the sample log like we had before, um, you know, following up with them after they order, things like that. Sometimes you live here for quite a while. And what you have to do is learn how to read your relationship to where you understand if the progression moves on quicker or if you need to stay here for a month or maybe six weeks or maybe you're only here for a week until you start to move on, okay? Um, that is really, oh goodness, I keep going back. That's, that's really different for every single person. And you have got to be authentic in that relationship and in that building to where you know how long you have to live here, okay? So once someone is officially joined, then you kind of move down the mountain on the other side where you welcome them, you help them complete their first things first checklist because you're going to set them up for success because you want them to do great. Um, encourage them to announce their business, especially on social media, schedule their launch party, give them advice, give them guidance, show them where to find training for their launch party on social media, and make sure they know about the first 70 days. Okay, shooting star, sensational start, levels one, two, and three. So that is, that's if someone hosts. If someone doesn't host, you can go with this one here where they just go straight for the 99, right? Maybe they've seen your Instagram stories. Maybe they've been, maybe you've been talking with them about the opportunity. Maybe you've told them, hey, you know what? You'd be really great at this because you already have an existing relationship with them. Or maybe they see the $20 join special and they're like, hey, tell me what's in that $20 kit. You're just gonna go boom, 
straight to kit coaching. Kit coaching is where you're, they're just going to join. They don't even have to host. Okay. You're going to have intentional conversations. Again, just like we said last week, there is no script. I will never tell you what to say because you're having real, authentic, genuine relationship building, intentional conversations. Then they join and it's the same thing down the mountain to help them get started. Okay. So I'm going to have all these things for you. Um, I'm going to have all these things for you to have after we're done here. And I have, um, okay, yeah, here we go. I'm sorry, I just wanna make sure I have all my ducks in a row. Do you guys like those things? Yes, okay, cool. I love them. I thought they were amazing tools, um, especially because like I'm not so great digitally and, and I love to have, I love to see everything kind of laid out like that. This also, guys, this is also kind of helps keep you accountable. You know what I'm saying? Like, did I follow up with this person in enough time? Like. Did I um, reach out as soon as I should have? Um, where is, I have one other thing. Sample log. Hold please, thanks for being awesome. Oh, I have a follow-up log for you. It's real good. Here we go, there it was. All right, let me share this with you real quick. Okay, here's the customer follow-up log. Um, look how good this is. Are you ready? So name, order, order type, pretty simple. So I suggest within 24 hours, you text, call, email, Instagram, Facebook, something just to tell them thank you, okay? Pretty simple. So if, if you get a, an email that says, congrats, I have a new PWS order, like you can just go right into your workstation, look up their phone number and send them a quick text. Thank you so much for supporting my business. I'm going to send you something in the mail. This is another part of customer service where you say what you do and do what you say, right? I'm going to send you something in the mail, so keep an eye out for that. So you're gonna send them thank you mail. I suggest getting that out within 72 hours. In your thank you mail, you should have samples from your bulk sample log, like you had before. You should have um, a small handwritten note, if that's your thing. If not, it doesn't have to be your thing, but you can print up a postcard. I will say a handwritten note goes a long way though. Okay, it really, really does. Here's the next thing you're gonna do. Follow on social. This is such a crucial step. You're not gonna be the kind of consultant that has one customer who orders once and then you're just like, hey, thanks, bye. Social is where you're gonna have your relationship. Social is where you're gonna get to know them. Social is where they're going to get to know you. You're going to build that trust rapport. They're gonna know, like, and trust you with, and eventually join your team, right? Follow on social, connect with them there. Facebook, Instagram, whatever works for them. Um, find out when you follow up what their favorite product they ordered was and their favorite scent. That's so important. Hey, what, what was your favorite scent that you got in the mail? Oh my gosh, did you like the sugar scrub more or the shower gel, right? Find out what their favorite products were because this is part of being a good consultant, providing excellent customer service and anticipating their needs or letting them know when something is going away. Or even just like, let's say you found something in your stash and you're like, you know what? That customer loved that. I've got a scent circle of it. Let me send it on the way to them, okay? Date their order was delivered or received and you can mark them off if they're a new a VIP or a referral. And if they're a referral, you should send something to the person who referred them to you as well, okay? Um, here with your order deliver or received, this is especially important now that you kind of market because our shipping times are taking quite a bit longer than normal. Um, but again, if you set the right expectation for your customer, they're not gonna be mad about it, okay? under promise and over deliver every time. Write down the order delivered or received so that you can follow up with them. I try and follow up within 48 hours after receiving the product just to make sure they've opened it, they like it, everything arrived perfectly, okay? And that's really super duper important. But especially because shipping is taking so long right now, this whole part right here, this thank you, this thank you mail, this follow on social, that's incredibly important to keep your customers satisfied and engaged during the wait. Okay, because right now we have a wait. We have a wait from the time they order to the time their products arrive. So that thank you text, that thank you mail, that follow on social, incredibly important to keep them happy, keep them engaged and keep building your relationship 
as you establish that for recruiting, okay? Um, so, here's some things you can send in the mail. Definitely samples, that's what the sample log is for. Um, catalog, monthly specials flyer, scratch and sniff sticker. If you go in Radiant Rockstars, there's an, there's an album that has printouts for your business. There are like incentives to host a party and things about joining. Like I included a join flyer in everything I send every time because you just never know where it's going to end up. Um, so here's what I'm going to leave you with tonight. If you have questions, please feel free to put them in the chat because I will, or you can unmute yourself and, and ask them. That's fine too because I will go back through there and look. Here's what I'm going to leave you with tonight. Raise your standards. Okay. Raise your standards for yourself. Stop accepting less than your absolute best. Okay. So often we go through our lives, we go through our businesses and we just like, uh, I didn't do great. I'll try again next time. Uh, I missed my goal, whatever, no big deal. Oh, I didn't get promoted. Oh, I didn't get paid a title. Oh, I forgot to follow up with that recruit. So I'll just try again for another one, right? Um, you're a radiant rock star and that's not what we do, first of all. <laughs> but second, your business, your future, your life is at stake with every connection you have with your customers, with every opportunity you have to connect and with every missed opportunity, you're robbing your future self of who knows what could happen. Like I said last week, Orville says, you are one person away from a completely different life. And if you miss a connection or you miss an opportunity to connect with someone, that could be the one person that's supposed to change your life. That could be the one person that joins your team that promotes the superstar director, right? Raise your standards, expect more from yourself. Stop being okay with just getting by or just being status quo or just being average. You are not average. The fact that you are here tonight shows me that you are not average. The fact that you're here and that you showed up says, I want to learn, I want to grow, I want to change. You are not average. You are not like everybody else. Everyone else gives up. Everyone else doesn't show up for training. Everyone else accepts less than the best for themselves. Raise your standards, expect more from yourself you could do this. Be someone that you would want to join. Okay. Be someone that you would want to join. Like I said, make them want your job. It's the same thing. Be someone that you would want to join. What kind of, what kind of mantra are you throwing out into the world? What does your social media look like? Are you happy? Are you positive? Are you successful? Be someone that you would want to join. And lastly, none of this matters if you do not deeply connect with your why. Absolutely, freaking lutely none of this will matter. None of this means a hill of beans if you don't deeply connect with why you're even doing this. And this little moment was inspired by a conversation that I had with Savannah, Savannah Barksdale today because she told me, and you know what, I'm, I'm like, I'm sorry of like stickling you out, but it's, it's, it's so good. And she said this, she said, you know, I tried to like have this why that all these other people have for so many years and she would like have up, down, up months and down months and she'd be like really hot and then she'd be gone for three months and then she'd be like in and out, you know, and, but she's been like on fire and growing and recruiting like crazy and she's in it to win it. And I said, Savannah, you're freaking on fire right now. And she said, you know why? because I know what my why is and I'm ready to go. And she said, I was trying to force this other why for so long. And I was trying to force this, this reason that I thought I was supposed to be doing this because that's what other people did or it's what made other people cry, right? And I thought that that was, had to be my why. She said, but I finally owned it. And I finally decided my why is actually completely different from, than that. It's not what anyone would expect. But now that she's deeply rooted and connected to it and owns it and doesn't give a flying flip what anyone else thinks, rock on sister, you're my people. Now she is able to fly. 
now she is really able to flourish. And you guys, listen, I have the same story as Savannah, the same exact one. For years and years and years, I either tried to force other people's whys on myself or I struggled to find my why. And like, I'd hear all these people be like, oh, my why is my family. Oh, I want to stay home with my kids. And like, all these people get so emotional and they cry. And I'm sitting here in the corner like, I don't even freaking have a why. I don't know. I work hard. Like, I like money. Seriously. Seriously. And I would feel bad about it. And I'd be like, this is like, I don't freaking have a why. Like, and then I'd beat myself up for not having a why and be like, there's no way I can be successful. I don't have a good why. I just like money. Like, I just want to work hard. And then one day I was like, wait a minute. Why is that bad? Why is that wrong? It's not bad. And there's nothing wrong with it. I like money. <laughs> money is how I provide for my family, right? You've heard me say before, like money isn't everything, but money brings freedom and freedom of choice. Okay. And I'm here for the freedom. I'm here for the freedom of choice. That's my why. That's my why. And when I owned that, that was probably four, four years ago or so when I like finally lived into that and said like, no, my why is not my family or staying home with children or what, that's not my why. Like it's not my why is freedom. And I'm cool with it. And it doesn't look like anyone else's and it doesn't make me cry. And I don't get all emotional, but like, I'm here for it. And I'm showing up for it. None of this matters a hill of beans if you do not connect with your why. If your why is family and it makes you cry, rock on sister and go on with it. And I'm cheering for you, for real. I am in your corner. And I want you to do that because that is authentically you. I had to give myself the freedom to find my own why, even if it looked different from someone else's. So I'm giving you the freedom and empowering you to go find your why, even if it looks different from mine or someone else's or your upline or your sideline or your downline or what you think someone thinks it should be or what your family is telling you it should be or what your spouse or your kids or your friends are telling you it should be. They don't pay your bills. They don't live with you. Find your why, deeply connect with it, get rooted in it, and then you can really, really, really fly. Okay. I love you guys so much. Anyone want to share their why before we hop off? Akila says her why is not to, to not be on the struggle bus. And I'm willing to struggle until I get to the point that I don't struggle anymore. Heck yeah. Amanda's why is to be a stay at home mom in November. T money. I don't know who that is, but I love you. T money. Uh, T Money says, one day my why will be to work full time from home. I love it. Extra income just for fun. Perfect. Perfect. Tina Sullivan, T Money. <laughs> I love it. Financial independence, freedom, financial freedom. Stop living paycheck to paycheck. I love money, <laughs> Colleen. <laughs> I love it. You guys are my people for real. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so thrilled to be in this with you. Extra money, extra money. Yeah. Listen, and, and if you're wise family, like, please do it, girl. Do it, girl. Your why is whatever you want it to be. But it has to be real and it has to be yours. And you have to believe it fully and connect with it. And that helps you get out of bed and that helps you make the calls and that helps you stay motivated even when it's hard. You said you always include a join pack in everything. Do you continue to, even if the customer is a frequent shopper? Every single time. Mm -hmm. I have been in Sensi for nine and a half years and I have a customer, one specific customer in my brain who's been with me for eight years. And I have, I've asked her to join at least a hundred times. She still buys from me and someday she's going to join my team and she's going to regret not joining however many years sooner. But I've asked her to join at least a hundred times and she doesn't like run the other way or freak out or get offended. Like, cause someday she's going to join. So I don't care if it's 199 or 1099 times I have to ask, she's going to join. So every time. Is that your why Ryan? Watch me prove him wrong. I love it. Prove him wrong. I love it. Help pay off our house. Sensi be my only income. Yep. 
yeah. Someone said, I love having Kira said, I love having my house and car smell and everything good and get paid to do it. That's amazing. It's amazing. All right, guys. I love you. Let's go recruit all the people. Okay. Let's go build teams, change the world. Like I said, change your world. Go change your world. Okay. Good night. See you next week.